Tony Stell from CorkMe.com. Welcome to day three of the Cork Envy Adult Beverage Advent Calendar video series for 2023. I'm joined once again by my best good mate, James. James, thanks for being here. Who is excited to see what's behind door number three today for our libation? I know I am. Roll it. All right, friends, as you can see, we have the Cote de Rhone white wine from Sainsbury's. Taste the difference, James. Yep. That's what they say. Good old science. On Taste all those difference. wines on the shelf. Now, friends, for, uh, for those who don't know, Sainsbury's is the second largest supermarket chain in the UK. Uh, I didn't do the research. I'm guessing Tesco. Probably number Tesco's one, right? Tesco's biggest, Sainsbury's second. Uh, then we got Asda. Asda, M&S, Waitrose. Ooh, M&S, Waitrose, yeah. One of them three is third. Yeah. But Put it out Tesco's got to be number one. But Tesco Sainsbury's number two. Number one, yeah. Sainsbury's, however, friends, is large enough that they have some great wine buyers who have some great uh, connections, uh, especially with winemakers in Europe who go and choose wines and have them bottled for the store. And I will say the two years I've been here in London, I've tasted several of these and I, I find them to be uh, priced quite well and uh, also quite tasty for the most part. Now, this wine today here is a white Rhone blend, which maybe you don't hear about a lot. We would call this maybe a winter white, James, a winter white wine. Okay. Kind of like your winter white uh, clothing. Yeah. In the fashion world. You're, well, it's you're, definitely not winter white outside. It it's nice. not winter white. It's, it's winter fucking cold outside because it's yeah. about zero winter or wet. just under. <laughs> yeah, winter, winter white and about winter wet here. All right, let's give this a, a little smell and a taste here. What do you say? Mm. All right, friends on the nose, I'm getting uh, some stone fruit, a little mineral maybe. James? Well, he's just drinking it. All right. What do you think of that wine, James? Well, that's a very good white wine. A good white wine. All right, that's very descriptive, I love yeah. it. All right. You know me. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, friends, on the palate, what I'm getting, I'm getting some herbal notes. I'm getting a little bit of uh, peach uh, stone fruit on there, maybe a hint of pear, but the peach is coming through more for me on this one. Now, the blend of this wine, friends, uh, we have Viognier, which is gonna give you some floral notes. Um, a lot of floral notes, a lot of fruit, uh, fruit forward in that there. Uh, the Roussan that's in there, that's gonna bring some more floral, but also some herbal, and when it's young, and it gets a little nutty as you age it. Uh, also, we have Marsan in there, which will bring some spice and pear notes, and maybe that's why I'm getting that little hint of pear uh, on the end of that as well. Uh, and you find that Roussan and Marsan are often blended together, uh, not only in the Rhone region of France, but also I'm gonna say very specifically in California, like on the Central Coast where the Rhone Rangers there are doing a great job with all the Rhone varieties uh, on the West Coast, California. Can't wait to get back out there and see you, Larry Schaefer. I'm talking to you from Tercero Wines. Haven't had some of your new vintages in a bit since I've been here in London, so there's that. Uh, James, uh, no other thoughts on the taste of the wine? No. All right. What if just I, good. What if I give you some <laughs> pairing suggestions on this one? Yeah, go. How about some grilled fish? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, now I'm about to speak yeah, the language here, yeah. mate. You're talking my language. With Sunday you. roast with chicken. Oh, bam! All right, it's gonna I go. See that, yeah. Gonna go great with the roast chicken there. Uh, it's also because you get some of those spicy herbal notes is gonna stand up well to the uh, the massive amounts of gravy we put on a Sunday roast here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Whether all it's chicken, all the gravy. Yeah, all the gravy. Yeah, just just make a boat in your in yeah. your pudding. If you there. don't have gravy. Who are you? You just make a bowl out of your Yorkshire pudding. Yep. And then. Pour it over your oh, chicken. Gravy, Yorkshire pudding. If you don't have, and then, if you, if and you then, don't have both of them, then and then yow. dip the chicken in the gravy in the Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. Oh, and then, and then you have this soggy of wine. Yorkshire pudding, and this wine will be great. Oh my gosh! You know, Sunday roasts. Uh, I don't think we call them the same thing in the states. Uh, you know, the Sunday roast very specifically here. We certainly don't have them in pubs and local smaller restaurants yeah. uh, in the states, but we do have you know Sunday family dinners in that sense. But here, friends, a Sunday roast uh, here in the UK is in England, a very big thing. And it's it's going to be a similar thing that you it's think. It's the best meal of the week. Yeah. It, it's going to be a roast meat of some sort, uh, a chicken, a lamb, a beef. Uh, chicken, beef, lamb. Yeah. Chicken, beef, uh, lamb. Those some, are the big ones. Sometimes pork. Yeah. Sometimes a pork. You got the veggies uh, out there roast. as well. But you got all the potatoes. You got some roast veggies, carrots. Yep. Um, Green all beans, the, maybe. All but, the potatoes. But all the potatoes. Yeah, you can roast potatoes, you can mash potatoes, all the potatoes, all the gravy. Also, U.S. friends, a Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, it's not pudding. Like, um, well, someone we don't mention anymore used to uh, talk about as a dessert in commercials way back in the day. Uh, it, it's basically a very fluffy dinner roll. And it is amazing. 
And if you get the right one, it's got this concave thing and you just fill it with gravy and it is just fill it with gravy amazing. And just it's a great oh, tradition, man. Sunday roasts, Sunday dinners are a great tradition. And that reminds me, you know, one of the things I love about wine, James, is I feel like we're tasting, uh, we're tasting a time and a place with wine. Every bottle of wine we open, uh, even this one here, I don't think I mentioned, 2022 vintage, not that long ago. Last year, la uh, I don't know, 14 months ago, this, this wine was probably pulled, uh, the grapes were probably pulled off the vine. It was uh, made into wine, probably bottled by January or February. Just guessing, I don't know the exact winemaking stats, but I know how white wines go. So we're not looking too far back in the future, but gosh, I remember back in January, something awesome happened. So that's what I love about wine, is we're tasting a time and a place, and we're tasting not only the place, but we're tasting the winemaker's vision for what they had in front of them uh, at that moment. Which leads me to, if I may, today's holiday haiku. And here we are, friends. Here we go. Sit for minute grapes and have a laugh with your mates. Time in a bottle. With that, friends, I want to ask you, and I'll ask you first, James, you know, any great holiday memories or traditions you have? Uh, thinking about wine and how it takes us back a little bit to a place if we really think about it and read a little bit about each bottle. Any great holiday memories for you or festive memories? Well, we're involved in wine, I'm not too sure. Mm. But there's been many of times very good Lego sets given as presents. Lovely. Or going way back, got an N64 for Christmas. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a very big one. That is a very, very big one. Best films ever made. Absolutely. I remember very specifically getting two things, uh, if we're talking about memories in that sense, like going back to Christmas and looking through the festive season through the eyes of a child. Uh, I remember getting uh, a basketball hoop uh, for my old man to put up uh, out back. We don't uh, do basketball. Yes, you do not. <laughs> uh, not. Not generally, no. I remember that. That was a big thing for me. And the also, the uh, ball we use is the one that hits the foot. Yes, getting, getting my first, <laughs> getting my first uh, musical keyboard actually at Christmas time was a very big deal for me as well, which kind of led me to the career I'm in now, which uh, involves making uh, silly songs about wine on occasion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, friends. Uh, how about you? Uh, I'm gonna ask you in the comments today, uh, leave any uh, comments about a favorite Christmas memory, if you will. Uh, hopefully good, but if it's bad, eh, we'll all give you a uh, care emoji and uh, hit you up in your DMs and ask if we need to talk. How about that? <laughs> all right, James, thanks for joining me again, mate. Yeah. Um, friends, thanks for joining and sharing and doing all the things and supporting this uh, crazy journey through the festive season. And gosh, that's all I got today. So until tomorrow, remember to be nice, be safe, and be happy. Up the chills. Up the chills.